I mean, shoulder's been good. Um, you know, last year finishing on IR is not great, but uh, felt like I've rehabbed real well in the off season. I've uh, been running around well, and I feel good. You had talked about maybe doing some different stuff to change your body type a little bit. Mm-hmm. Did that happen? Where are you with that, and how does that suit the knee? Uh, just being able to make sure my legs are strong enough to withstand the, the year and um, at the same time have the right weight, uh, right mass, right strength, things like that. Uh, I think I've done a good job of that. I still have my explosiveness and everything like that. So, um, you know, heading into the year, I feel pretty good. Did you put on a little weight then? No, same weight. Same weight, same weight just yeah. different. Yeah. Different. How much do you feel you need to play in preseason? Uh, as much as needed. I think, you know, I'm still in the process of, you know, getting my legs under me. Um, you know, working on the little nuances of the rush, uh, my approach, my game plan, things like that, stuff that you always work on, whether it's uh, in the game or on the field. So anytime, anytime I get a chance to go out there and get a few snaps, Not it's good. Not to look past the game, but you had a very memorable joint practice last year when you weren't even playing. Uh, mm-hmm. What is it about joint practices that get you going? I mean, you know, you get another team out there. It's fun. You know, adrenaline gets going. Um, you know, normally you're out here with your guys, and then you get another opponent. Um, almost feels like a game. So, you know, juices get flying a little bit. I don't think that's going to happen this year. I'm going to try to be a little bit more smart. I can't promise anything, but, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll be better. You know, I, I think, you know, one of the big things for me, um, you know, everyone wants to get tied up on the physical. Uh, big thing for me this offseason is getting the mental down, um, being able to fight those little mental battles. You're going to have bad plays. Uh, put them behind and you know move on to the next one. So what did you do? To, what did you do to work on that? Did somebody can help you? I mean, that's a 24-hour. You know, if anyone that knows my history knows that you know mental health is a big thing for me. Um, you know, not just surface level, but you know, obviously, um, getting better in the game and you know, doing things that way. So um, it's a constant battle that not only me, but I'm sure other guys are doing. Where you know you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of plays. You know, 70 plays in a game and. Um, not every single one is going to be perfect. So. Randy, what was your reaction Frank, when, you, when you signed Frank Clark? What was that? When the team signed Frank Clark. What was I love reaction? Frank. Frank, uh, me and Frank actually came out same year. Um, a lot of our pre-draft visits were on the same teams and things like that. So, you know, I've known him for a while now. Um, he's a guy who's really going to help us in the room. Uh, he's been in Super Bowls. He's won them. Um, 10 plus sack years, things like that. So there's a lot of stuff we can learn from him. Randy, you, how how frustrating, Randy, has it been to, you know, have injuries during your career and have a number of seasons shortened, you know, overall. It, it sucks, you know, because you, you go in um, with an idea of, of what the dream is going to be like and um, you have hiccups. And I think the big thing for me is, you know, I've been able to pick myself up and keep going. What do you think, what do you, think you and Frank are capable of together? A lot, just- a lot. I mean, I, I'm not going to give you any numbers and things like that, but um, I think his, his resume speaks for itself. I think everyone knows what I can do well. So, um, you know, him, including with the other guys we have there, I think we'll have a good year. How, how motivated are you to be that guy they signed? You were a huge free agent for them. Mm-hmm. And when you were on the field last year, you might have been that best player. Right. It's always been big for me. I think, uh, you know, my thing is fulfilling my end of the, the agreement. And, um, you know, a big part of that is being able to be available and be healthy. So, you know, a lot of that has been off season, just like I said, rehabbing. Uh, making sure that's good on that end. And, yeah, I, I truly feel like if I'm out there for 17 games plus, you know, I'll do what I need to do, and um, that's the plan. How's it been having Zach Allen next to you in new, in new edition? What's he like? Uh, guy's very smart, um, very shifty, a lot shiftier than I thought he was. Um, he reminds me of your, you know, almost like a true 4-3 in. He can play inside, he can play outside, very flexible. Um, you know, he's a guy that, you know, you want, a three to be able to rush the passer and inside, so I definitely think it's going to help everyone on the edge. What do you think about uh, for the fans to be out there? What kind of energy did they bring during camp, and how nice is it also to not be in that hotel pretty soon? I mean, it's it's nice to have the fans out there every day. You know, they um they bring the right kind of energy, energy, and it's good to go out there and you know sign things from them, speak to them, things like that. Uh, having the families there. Um, I don't know how they do it, you know, during the week with, you know, school and work, but um, I think that shows the dedication we have, um, you know, where our support and our, our fans. We definitely have a very, very good fan base. I think they're ready for us to have a big year, and that's what we want to give to them. You guys have anything in that hotel, though? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm going cuckoo in there. What do you think about uh, what Benito and, and Coop have done and jumps they've made this year? Big jumps. I think, uh, you know, both of them similar in a sense in their jumps. Um, you know, they, Coop does a lot of things well as far as, you know, his leadership skills. He's got very violent hands. Um, the things he's able to do this year as opposed to last year is it's, uh, you know, bounds and leaps. So and same thing with Nick, you know, his thing is, 
you know, much like me, the mental, you know, and, and when his, his head's on straight and he's ready to just go, uh, he can make a lot of plays. And um, that's what we need him to do, just go out there and play freely. Same thing with Coop. Um, we got some young guys in there, too, that can really go. So I'm really excited to see him. How do you Coach feel about uh, Javante? Yeah. Coach said he'd be disappointed if this wasn't a playoff team. He said that mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. Yeah. Is, he, is his mindset starting to permeate this locker room? I mean, that, that, that's what you have to believe. I think that's every year. Um, I think, you know, the main goal is going there, obviously do well in preseason, stay healthy, um, win the division, and then go in there and make it to the playoffs. And, you know, we, for the most part, have the same team we had last year. And I thought highly of the team last year. I think highly of the team this year. Um, it's about going out there and putting the product on the field. How do you feel about, how do you, how do you feel about Javante Williams, you know, returning ahead of schedule and playing on Saturday? I mean, he, he knows how I feel about him. He's, a, he's our little superstar. Um, you know, I play, being able to play against him with the Cowboys was big. Um, I, did, I didn't know who he was uh, beforehand. And um, to see him run and his knees always going up and down and stuff like that is pretty, pretty neat to see. And, um, the way he was able to jump back so quick from an ACL is, is, is pretty cool. So expect big things from him, expect the big, uh, big things from the offense in general. Randy, how much have you talked about the mental health thing of, of another year of comfort in this mm -hmm. environment? I mean, you played in Dodger all career. Yeah. It's a lot of change coming mm -hmm. next year. How much has that sort of helped? It's helped a lot. You know, I think anyone who knows me knows um, – I'm big on comfortability and, um, you know, being in one state for that long was big for me. So making the jump to, to come to a different team was big. And, um, you know, that coupled with the year we had and the injuries, it was tough. But uh, I've done a good job, like I said, of staying on top of those things. I think the coaches and the, um, the players have done a good job of, you know, really integrating the mental health aspect to it. Because I think a lot of people in our profession have kind of put it to the side. And, yeah, I tend to do it sometimes, too. So... And I'm sure you guys do too. So it's uh, it's nice to to be able to have that in check and be able to focus on football. Time for two more. Randy, the familiarity and the similarities of last year's defense and Vance is keeping it all as a whole. How much is that going to improve? If you guys can improve on the defense as a whole coming from last year and keeping it up and same this year. I definitely think we can improve. I think you know, for me at least, um, you know, it's a whole different scheme and in front. So you know, I'm going from the end to, to outside backer and understanding coverages and, you know, help and things like that uh, was was big last year. I think this year, um, I know me and a lot of guys included have taken a step and we really understand the the why, you know, we I'm in coverage, but I have help here and why, and why are we in this type of coverage on this, you know, specific down and distance and things like that. So um, credit to the, to the staff. I think VJ and the assistant coaches are very good as far as explaining it and putting it on the field and bringing up film that we can watch and get better at and, um, you know, correct the mistakes when we go out there. So Vance was, Vance was talking about uh, how, how much you've impressed him in the run game. How mm -hmm. much of an emphasis do you put on that to, to set a tone there? I mean, it's always been that way. Um, even when I was in college, I think, you know, people look at my frame and they just assume that I'm a pass rusher and don't play the run well. And I've learned that playing the run is more about will and want to. And um, I want to. I want to be able to. You know, be an every down guy. I may not be out there every down, but I want to be, you know, known for a guy that can play the run, help in the run game, but also helping the pass game too. Part of the reason you came here was Russell Wilson. Mm -hmm. What makes you believe in what you're seeing that he'll bounce back? I mean, I've seen it every day. I, I understand his obsession for the sport and his craft to get better. Um, guys like him, I don't really worry about. They're, they're going to figure it out, plain and simple. Ready, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.